Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss about financial function called as present value. With the latest update released by Microsoft, this function is now available in Power BI. Before moving to Power BI, let's look at the definition and the syntax of this function. Here is the definition and the syntax. Calculates the present value of a loan or an investment based on constant interest rate. You can use present value with either periodic constant payments, such as mortgage or other loan, or a future value, that's your investment goal. And we have the syntax here, and it takes five parameter, the rate, the total number of payments, the payment amount, the future value, which is optional, and type whether the payment is made at the beginning or at the end of the period. And return value, the present value of a loan or investment. And we have some example as well in the below. So now let's try to understand what is present value with the help of a simple example in Excel. And then later try to do the same exercise in Power BI. Okay, let's move to Excel. Here is an example. Let's say a person X is earning $1,000 a month and he can afford to pay an EMI of $500 after meeting all his daily expenses, okay? So there is a person X and he's earning $1,000 a month and let's say half of his uh, salary goes into other expense and he's left with just $500, okay? and that's the maximum EMI he can afford, okay? What is the loan amount he can afford at the current interest rate of 8% and maximum tenure of five years, okay? So he can afford to pay an EMI of $500 a month, okay? And currently the interest rate is 8% and he can only afford to pay this EMI for five years. Let's say he's gonna work for only next five years and later on, uh, he cannot afford to pay any EMI. So with this information, let's say what is the maximum loan that person X can afford, okay? That's what we are trying to do. That is get the present value. So I have this information here, EMI. This is the maximum EMI he can afford month on month. Rate of interest per year, let's say 8% uh, and it's gonna remain constant for the next five years and he can afford this EMI for only for the next five years. And he's gonna make monthly payment that is 12. So in a year, he is gonna make 12 payments. And in five years, he's gonna make total 60 payments, 12 multiplied by five, 60. Now let's try to get the present value. So we have a built-in function in Excel called PV present value, okay? So it takes five parameter, one, two, three, four, five, okay? The rate of interest. Now let's input the rate here. Rate of interest per year, 8%. So the payment is he's making on a monthly basis. So let me divide this by 12. And number of payments he's gonna make is total 60 EMIs and the payment amount, he can afford only $500 a month. So his outgo, outflow each month is 500. So I'm not change this to negative, minus 500. And then future value, I'm gonna leave it blank. And then he's gonna make the payment only at the end of the period, okay? End of the month. Close the bracket and hit enter. So this is the amount, right? The maximum amount this person X can afford, okay? So this is how we can calculate the present value, okay? So now let's try to do the same thing with the help of Power BI. So I have this table in this PBI. So it has information on the amount let's say the monthly amount is gonna to effort to pay, that is 500. 
rate of interest the current rate of interest is 8% and since he's doing monthly payment for next 5 years he's going to pay 12 times 5 is 60 that's his emi so with this information let's try to find the present value okay or uh, the affordable loan so i'll go to my report here click on new measure and then call this as present value example equal to present value function here rate okay selected value from the column rate of interest here divide that by 12 because he's going to make monthly payments so 12 payments per year and then number of uh, payments right or a period it's he's going to make the payment for 60 months that is selected value from the column emi that is 60 emi and then payment so the monthly outflow is 500 dollar it's in the amount column so i'm going to change this to negative and then selected value from amount so this is his monthly outflow and then future value i'm going to leave, ignore this or put zero here and then he's going to make the payment at the end of the month so zero okay type is zero and now hit enter so now if i bring this to the card here so i have a card so if i drag and drop here so and maybe i can can convert this into dollars and this is the results so the present value of his emi is at the rate of 8% for the next 5 years is 24067000 dollar okay this is exactly what we got in power bi hope this video was helpful and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends or colleagues okay and thanks for watching have a great day